Every season in the Smokies has its own charm, but this is particularly true of autumn. Fall colors abound. The Smoky Mountain Harvest Festival, where the area is adorned in lavish fall decorations, comes into full swing. As Halloween approaches, the ghouls and goblins come out to play at the numerous events in Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge. It is an experience you should not miss. So if you haven't been to the Smokies during the fall season, we're about to give you several reasons why this year should be the year. First up, we give you Coast and Goblins. On select days throughout October, visitors to Rocky Top Mountain Coaster will experience Coast and Goblins. It's always the same. It starts the same way. Oh, tell me. I prepare for the noble war. With the same hills and thrills you love, plus added lights, goblins, ghouls, and ghosts. Halloween nights at Rocky Top Mountain Coaster will bring you fun and frights to visitors after dark on Fridays and Saturdays beginning October 9th. This is also true for other mountain coasters in the area. Second on the list, we give you the Great Pumpkin Luminites. This runs from September 23rd to October 29th. The Dollywood Harvest Festival is one of the most anticipated annual events of the season, with favorite activities like the Great Pumpkin Luminites, the Southern Gospel Jubilee, and handmade wares from world-class artisans showcased to visitors. Dollywood Halloween is sure to be a hit for all age groups. Next up, Ripley's Fright Nights, running on weekends in October. Ripley's Haunted Adventure will be hosting its annual Fright Night show this October. Visitors can enjoy a howling good time at these shows on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. The year-round haunted house will have a new theme and new ghouls stalking its dark corridors. This one will probably be better for the adults and older children than the younger ones. Our next entry brings us to the island for Trick or Treat at the Island. This happens October 31st, which is Halloween. Halloween at the Island is a celebration for all ages. Join the businesses at the Island for trick or treating, Halloween music, and a special Halloween fountain show. Enjoy this family friendly, spooky celebration starting at 4 p.m. on Halloween. Next, we take you into the park for a different type of entry. It's the Wanted Dead or Alive Halloween Costume Hike 2022. Organized by the Knoxville Hiking Group, this costume hike will take place from 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. on Saturday, October 29th. This year, the group will be costuming up and heading up Middle Prong Trail to Indian Flats Trail. This is an eight-mile round trip, four miles in, four miles back, and a fairly easy hike. Afterwards, the group will head to Townsend for some food and drinks, still in costume. They will also be awarding some winners of the costume contest. So if you're a fan of Halloween and a fan of hiking, this could be for you. Our next couple entries have more of a local flair. The first of which being the Pigeon Forge Spooktacular. This takes place on October 27th. Every year, the Pigeon Forge Community Center hosts a safe, non-scary event for families to go trick-or-treating. This event takes place at the Pigeon Forge Community Center the Thursday before Halloween. At the event, you'll find vendors from local Pigeon Forge businesses offering candy for the kids. This year's event will be a drive through trick-or-treating experience. Also, the Rocky Top Sports World Halloween Spooktacular. Celebrate the most unearthly time of the year at the Halloween Spooktacular sponsored by the Gatlinburg Parks and Recreation Department. Hosted at Rocky Top Sports World, the 8th Annual Spooktacular will have a festive lineup of candy booths, costume and decoration contests, community fun, and free hot dogs. Happening October 26th, the free event is from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Our next event takes us above Gatlinburg for the spooktacular Smokies at the Gatlinburg Skylift Park. Enjoy autumn adventures at Gatlinburg Skylift Park for even more family-friendly seasonal fun. With activities for every member of the family, visitors can purchase a separate VIP Smoky Mountain Sunrise event ticket on select days from September 23rd to October 31st. The park is also offering an event catered to the young ones called Spooktacular Smokies. 
Happening every Friday and Saturday night from September 24th to October 31st, spooky storytelling, Halloween decorations, and photo opportunities will be available on the Gatlinburg Skydeck. If you come dressed in a costume on Halloween weekend, you may even go home with a sweet treat. Children dressed in costume under the age 12 will also receive free admission October 29th through October 31st. No list like this would be complete without having Anakisa in the mix. And this year, they will not disappoint. They're returning their Legend of Hollow Mountain event, which will feature even more Halloween-themed decor around the park, a brand new Bavarian-themed decor, and food and drinks around the Black Bear Village, as well as a German-style band. Vista Gardens will feature all new nature-inspired pumpkin carvings as well. The event will run from September 16th through Halloween. But what we're most excited about is their Astra Lumina event. This will open November 1st as the first Enchanted Night Walk in the U.S. and the 15th in the world. And I'll leave you right here for a minute with some footage of some other Enchanted Night Walks like the one that will be at Anakista. Last but certainly not least is the Trick or Treat Kickoff Carnival at Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies. Ripley's Haunted Adventure and Pepsi will sponsor the 15th annual Halloween Trick or Treat Kickoff Carnival on the plaza at Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies on October 31st, which is Halloween. The event will be from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Activities include games, toys, food, candy, and a costume contest. Some of the games will be 50 cents each play for the larger prizes. That money will go to a local charity that will be announced later. There will also be a lot of free prizes and candy from vendors that will be participating in the Sevier County area. The costume contest will begin at 2 p.m. After the Trick or Treat Carnival, take a quick break and get ready for the regular trick or treating festivities in downtown Gatlinburg from 5 to 9 p.m. The experience of the kickoff carnival and trick or treating on the strip is one we've enjoyed for almost a decade now. Definitely our favorite on the list. And if you'd like to meet up with us, we will have a booth handing out candy at Ripley's Aquarium as well. If you're subscribed to the channel, let us know as we'll have something special for you. You now have a great list of reasons to visit the Smokies this fall. With all that's happening, it may be hard to choose which one to hit. Our experience has showed us that once you take in Halloween and the Smokies, it's hard to go back to anything else. So what you don't hit this year, catch it next year. The harvest season is the epitome of why we love the Smokies. The fall color, community, fun, it's everything that makes the mountains what they are. We should also note there are several other events that we didn't include here. The Gatlinburg Craftsman's Fair and Chili Cook-Off to name a couple. The list just goes on and on. We will link additional info on the listed events in the description, so if something piqued your interest, you can find more info there. As always, we appreciate you joining us, and if you'll be in town this Halloween, make sure to stop by our booth at Ripley's Aquarium and say hi. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, like if you liked it, comment if you're a fan, subscribe if you're feeling it. If not, that's okay too. Wow.